you have installed ZAMP in your Windows 10 and you have been experiencing issues. These issues are stalling your workflow making it difficult to complete your task. So how do you fix these issues? Is there an alternative to ZAMP? In this video, I'll show you how to install and run a local server in Windows 10 and avoid all issues associated with ZAMP. The process works even for Mac and Linux operating system. Make sure to watch till the end because I have a bonus tip for you. So let's get started. Now, step number one will be to download and install the local server. So to download the local server, go to localwp.com. I've left a link in the description for you to use. So just go ahead and click it. To download the software, there are two ways. Click the download software button on the top right or download for free. Click any and choose a platform depending on your operating system. You have to choose between Mac, Windows and Linux. In my case, I'll choose Windows. Next, you have to input your details. That is your name, last name, work email, phone number and then click get now after you are done. Now. We wait until the download is finished. The next step will be to install the local server into your computer. To install the local server, go to the download location and run the software as an administrator. Choose the installation settings. I'll go with the default settings. Choose where to install the server and wait for it to finish installing. Your local server is installed on your computer. Now click finish. To finish the installations, you have to agree to the terms of service. Read through and check the box if you agree. Click agree and complete the next prompts to finish the setup. With your server installed, you need to create an account. An account will help you to install WordPress so that you can be able to build your website. You can create an account with Google or if you have a GitHub account, you can connect to it. You can also get an email link or just input the required data. After that, click create. Next, you need to check your email to verify and finish setting up your account with the link in the email. This should be done within 24 hours. Here is my email. You receive a similar email. So go ahead and click verify email address. This is how your account looks like. You can go ahead and update it. Enable two-factor authentication for enhanced security or delete it if you don't need it. Now, with the installation complete and having created an account, it's time to create a new website. So, to create a new website, we have to open local. So, just click open local and this will open this interface. Now, click on create a new website. You can either create a new website from scratch or from blueprint. That is you can start with the pre-installed themes and plugins. So choose your preferred way of creating your website and click continue. We'll complete this in three steps after you are done that. Step number one will be to name your site. So just go ahead and provide a name, whichever name you want to choose. And this name will be your domain name and you can change it later. Next, click continue. Now, the next step will be to choose an environment setup. So here we have two options. You can go with the preferred, whether you have the indicated PHP and MySQL version and web server, or you can customize, that is choose your own environment. So you can select your PHP versions, choose your preferred web server between Jinx and Apache, or choose your preferred MySQL version. I'll stick to preferred and click continue. The last step in creating a website is to set up WordPress. Go ahead and set your username, your password, and email. Create your website. Here we have the advanced option. If you want to create a multi-site, go ahead and click there. Select create a multi-site. If you don't want, then just ignore it. And in my case, I don't need to do that. So I'm just going to ignore it and click continue. Now, we have to wait for a few minutes as the, as the local host sets up your server, database and installs WordPress. Congratulations, you have created a website. Now it's time to visit our website and see how it looks like. So to visit our website, click open site and it will direct you to our website. You can also open the site by clicking on the three dots at the top, then click open site. From here, type your site.local slash WP admin. A login page appears and here you should type your login details and login. Another way to access this login page is 
by going back to your software and click WP admin then provide the login details and then click login also you can access the same login page by clicking the three dots at the top then click access dashboard and it will take you to this page the last step is to build your website and your website right now looks a very unprofessional so let's make it look a little bit better by doing a few things we are going to install a theme so let's go to our dashboard here and install our theme so go to appearances and click on themes you can see they already installed themes here we have the 2022 the 2020 and 2021 and the 2022 is the active one we can click hard new and then search for cadence we are going to install the cadence theme and as it installs you need to know that cadence is a free lightweight theme that gives you control of your page layout also cadence provides you with starter templates for gutenberg elementor viva builder and even woocommerce to make it easier for you to build your website so now that our cadence theme is already installed let's go ahead and activate it let's take a look at the website to see how it looks like now so i just go to the page and refresh the page see the web you can see that the page looks a little bit better right now with the header here the circle page and one hello world post already there now we need to make it more beautiful to do this we need to upload content we can get started by using the cadence starter templates so just go to appearances and search for cadence starter kits or just go to this page after you have installed the theme you'll we'll find install cadence starter templates at the top just click on install and the installation will start now here you can choose templates depending on the page builder if you want to choose the gutenberg you can choose gutenberg if you want to choose elementor you can choose elementor in my case i want to choose the elementor templates so i'll just go ahead and choose the same and scroll down look for a template i can use to create a website let me choose this one now right on the left side you can customize a few things for instance you can change the color you can choose your preferred color you can change your font and right here it tells you the type of plugins you need you need the cadence block and you need the elementor so and also you can import a, a single page or a full site so i'll import a full site and then i'll like accept privacy policy and then click on subscribe and they'll install all the plugins templates and demo content the import is complete so we can go ahead and view our site so let's just go to our page here and refresh and see what we have now this is how your website looks like We're really beautiful right now yeah. your site is ready for customization so you can start making changes right now as a bonus let me show you how you can add another site to your local server so go to your software and down below here you'll see a plus sign so click add a local site and follow the same procedure we followed as we created a site so click on new create a new site or you can create from a blueprint input your preferred site name in my case Choose your environment, your WordPress username, and your site is ready. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a comment, subscribe to this channel, and hit the notification bell. New tutorials in the meantime, stay safe.